We all know by now that bears have a fantastic sense of smell. Also understand how smart they are. This bear smells some trash through a garage door and check out what happened next. Look Get at him. Stop, please call the police. Oh Look. my God. Look. Ah! Holy. <gasps> oh my Look. God. Look the <laughs> no, Look, he, he just cleaned it. By the, by the, by his mouth. Damn it, should his I just beep? Mouth. Should I just beep the horn? Yes. No. This bear literally figures out how to open the damn garage door. Pretty amazing if you ask me. Like, I've never seen anything like this. It's also pretty terrifying if you think about it. Watch out. Polar bears are no joke and are the tallest of all bears and they are scary looking. Whoever this polar bear is chasing nearly found this out the hard way. My question is this, you've got all this open area, like how the hell do you even get this close to this majestic creature? Like I just don't get it. Barry, don't follow us, don't come towards us. I don't want to use my bear spray. <laughs> That's a good boy. good boy. This is what I call a smart man. So he's walking on a trail and encounters a huge grizzly bear. The man started walking backwards and speaking calm but loudly, which I imagine is in the standard uh, what do you do if you encounter a grizzly rule book, right? He mentioned he had bear spray, which was good. Uh, the bear didn't seem like it was worried about any humans and it was just basically minding its own business and took a detour to get away from these humans. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> no hay voy aici. No entiendes que no hay voy. Du-te în pădurea ta, știu că tu vrei ceva, dar n-am ce să-ți dau. Nu ai voie aici. Hai să facem un concurs, haide după mine. Haide, dragul. Ești un zăpăcit. This bear is annoyed yet cautious. Obviously, it's a pretty young bear, but it's still a doggone bear. And this ski instructor, Going downhill activated its prey drive and it quickly gave chase. Oh boy, see ya. Hi. Fuji in pădure ca dupa aia te iau astia si cine stii pe unde ajungi. Clar, asta e o bălșoie de duet pe ocea, asta e un prostă bălșă, da? This video is the epitome of cute. A bear cub can't get enough of this man. Like I wouldn't do this because it's not good for humans nor bears as bears should naturally have a fear of humans. I mean, imagine this thing fully grown walking up to someone like wanting to play. He is going to wind up as a fancy rug. Look at this. You're kidding me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No way. He's gonna fall. Man, oh man, check out this black bear. So there is uh, some beaver meat on this thin rope, and it is most certainly determined to go get it. Let's be honest, gotta be impressed when it comes to how long the bear held on to this rope before it finally fell. Holy moly. <laughs> I can't believe it. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. Look at this. You're kidding me. <laughs> there he goes. Oh! <laughs> This one is an interesting one, right? So a man is out for a morning workout when he was approached by a black bear. 
Now, black bears are curious animals and they won't always attack, but of course they are still bears and capable of ripping a human apart. Yeah. Go on. Go on your way. Come on. Good. It'll be your part from now, okay? Okay. Yeah. So this bear is methodically following this man around for several minutes as the man tries to shake the bear off. Eventually the man sees the bear like slow down just a little bit, which gave the man enough time to run. This was a very close call. You know, the problem is, what do you do? Do you hop out the car and politely tell the bears to stop destroying your car? So a family of brown bears at Yellowstone decided that this car would make a great play toy and started to attack the car. The kids in the car were not trying to hear it, and I don't blame them. Go forward. They said not to stop. Start driving forward, Jacob. It's it's okay. A bear comes to this beautiful home and wants to get in. Then the police are called. Oh God, Angela, help me. Angela, help me. Come here, bitch. Come here. Okay. A curious bear opens the car door. Only problem is that there is someone sitting there in the car. Like, yikes. He's, he knows. He knows. Oh, oh shit. You drive away, dude. Dude. Go. He Holy knows. Shit. It knows how to open. Kind of give him some space. With all of us here, you can't do much. Yeah. You know? You've got to run him off. Unfortunately, you can't cut him off now. Oh, he's coming back. Right, don't, no, don't worry. Don't. Some old footage of a giant grizzly who sees this group of guys and is not pleased with their presence. Look, I don't know about you, but I would not be trying to antagonize an animal who can run 100 yards in 5 seconds and has the strength to tear you apart in seconds. Maybe that's just me. Let's talk about a close call. Two guys are out enjoying their snowmobiles when an enraged grizzly bear takes a swipe at the one filming and nearly takes his head off. Check it out. <laughs> This is a video from a few years back that takes place in Glacier National Park in Montana. So evidently this guy comes near a grizzly bear who sees him, stops to survey the scene, and continues toward him. Hell to the gnaw, I would be out of there. My question is, does the bear see humans so often that it's not scared of humans? Was it going to attack this man had he not retreated? What do y'all think? And a grizzly. Look at it. It's going after it. A grizzly. Did you see the grizzly? A grizzly. It's a grizzly chasing bear. it. A grizzly bear is chasing it. Oh, cool. We 
have all seen bears chase moose. But just imagine being out and about and seeing this literally happening right in front of you, like unexpectedly. It would have been the most frightening, yet the most exciting thing ever. I'm here, moose. Moose and a grizzly. Look at it, it's going after it. Grizzly, did you see the grizzly? A grizzly? It's chasing it. Grizzly bear is chasing it. Look, my first thought was that I'll just attribute this to perhaps this is a young bear uh, that doesn't understand what it is and what's chasing it. Because this dog would have most certainly been a meal for this bear if it were older and more experienced. Then again, when I watched it more closely, at the beginning of the video, you can see that there are several dogs there with this dog being in the forefront. So maybe that's the deal. Yeah, still a few bears around. No se mueva. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. Like, props to the woman who kept her cool along with the rest of the women because this was well on its way to being a tragic ending had they panicked. So a black bear decides to harass a woman and it seems more curious than aggressive, but wow. Like, what would you do in this situation? A grizzly bear chases a mother black bear and her cub. So check this out. So this woman is snowboarding. As it's bad enough, she didn't really know at the time that the huge bear was coming for her as she like had her headphones on. But she didn't even find out till well after. Like, can you imagine blasting Rihanna and getting a tap on her shoulder from a bear like this one? You would probably have a heart attack before the bear even did any damage to you. Insane. This black bear wanted a salesman to give him a walk around on three different vehicles. No one was around, so he went to investigate himself. He opened it. Vieni, Ale. Hey, hey. The best for last. So this takes place in the Italian Alps where this young boy comes across this giant bear that's following him down a hill. Props to the kid as well as the family for keeping their cool because it couldn't have been me. So a lot of the time with bears, they become curious. And if you can get them just to get bored with you and lose interest, they usually will go away. But when they don't, you are in 
big trouble. Oh, Martin, do te vada ish kave trebu. Stop, stop, stop! Stai pe loc, stai un pic pe loc. Lasă-l să treacă. This is in Romania, where a young-looking brown bear looks to be very curious initially, just trying to see what these humans were up to. At some point, this skier takes off and the bear's instinct to chase kicks in. The bear chased the man for quite a while, too. Hi, the driver. Tu tot alegi, tu tot alegi, dar n-ai ce să faci. Mă pare. Te dăm schiun. Ai pus frână, dragule? Obosiși, a? This is at Glacier National Park, where this grizzly didn't want a black bear anywhere near it. So the black bear got chased up a tree. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, that's classic. Oh. That's classic, isn't it? Oh. I got it. You see the stuff Amazing. over there. I got the whole thing on video. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> my hair is gone. Whoa, bear! Whoa, bear! You guys up the trail, stay put! Hey, bear! Whoa, bear! Hey, bear! Check out this encounter between a ranger and a family of bears at Glacier Park. They start yelling at the bears to let them know that they are not intimidated. Although I would be peeing my pants. So I wonder if the bears initially were going to like attack, but the loud noises deterred them. They eventually run off, but that is way too close of a call for me. Check out this cat that has the balls of steel and actually chases a bear up a tree. Folks, I am not making this up. Here is a giant polar bear who figured he would help himself to some stuff in the bed of this truck, hoping to find some food out of there. The same bear did it again with another truck, but what tripped me out is how dude got out of the truck. Not a good idea at all unless you have a weapon in your hand, bro. Like, just keep your butt in the truck next time. You better believe that this driver in Alaska didn't expect this bear who crossed the road once to double back and then charge. This was insane and I'm glad they weren't on foot or on a bicycle. Oh my god, go, 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 hit the gas, he's right next to us. Holy fuck, we just got charged by a bear. <laughs> Tata. 
Some bears break into a home and do what bears do. The bears cause a little chaos. Another black bear sighting, but this time in someone's backyard. I think this bear is obviously just hungry. Well, heck, then again, bears are always hungry, aren't they? But look how close they are and how comfortable they are antagonizing this bear. Do you think they would do that to like a grizzly? Go! Yeah! Josh! Josh! Get out of oh. Quit! Oh. No. no! 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 Josh, oh. get away! Oh. Dad, get away! Oh. Josh, get! Let him have it! Get, Josh! Get! Josh! No! Josh, get him! 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 Get is that this wolf here is not really scared at all by this bear. Now I know a wolf can hold its own and they are apex predators, but they can't hang with no damn big bear like this. But hunger will make you do some crazy things. Nevertheless, this is mother nature at its best. It seems the trouble comes naturally for these two cubs. Now they've stumbled onto another stranger, a Himalayan black bear who could cause a lot of trouble if annoyed. I don't know why a black bear decided to take on two big tigers, but I bet he never does that again. One tiger would be a mismatch in itself, but two tigers? Eh, seems like a death wish. <laughs> So in Russia, a bear chases a dude and somehow is hit by a bus. The bear ends up being okay, and at the end of the video ends up chasing that man again. The question has to be why this man is just standing there with his cell phone as if the bear is not there. This is going to be one hell of an insurance claim. So a mischievous and probably very hungry black bear breaks into a home and I'm pretty sure it's trying to figure out where the owners are hiding all the food. Then it does something I did not expect.
Evidently, this was taken with a home camera, presumably while the owners were gone. And I'm just happy they weren't there because a hungry bear is an aggressive bear. I think we should move. Just slow, slow. I think we should move, like, duh. Imagine had they not seen this black bear lurking in the background. So black bears are not usually all that aggressive and tend to be more curious than anything else. But it's still a bear. And animals like bears should not be this close to humans. They should always fear humans. I mean, trust me, it's good for the human and the bear. The people in this car got the scare of their lives when a bear manages to open the car door. Feeding a bear out your driver's side window just seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? What happens if the same bear walks up one day to someone who is eating their food in peace and minding their business, and that person doesn't want to share their food with the bear? <laughs> Слюни, блин, а? На, забирай, забирай, забирай. Молодец, красавчик. Here's a very interesting video of some bears in the distance. Now, I mean, they are a pretty good distance away, to be honest with you. Like, to the point that even you or I probably wouldn't have even felt threatened by them if we were there. Unfortunately, one of the bears spotted the human, and he wanted to come give him a hug right quick. Three grizzly bears seem to be just chilling when this one started running out of nowhere. Isn't it amazing how fast bears are to be so big? I'm guessing that this bear had already been somewhat of an issue at this home with trying to get into the chicken coop. Bro was trying to get him a three piece and a biscuit up out of there. The homeowners found a very creative way to get it to stop its destruction. Dick. Dick, seriously. Dick. Oh, God. He's smooth, whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. A crazy bear is in over its head when it shuts itself inside a Cadillac Escalade. There, he's going to get out now. He's out.
No way in the world should anyone ever be this close to a wild bear. The bear didn't like its space being invaded, and although it was initially pretty laid back, this became an interesting but scary moment. the bear stroll up the Clemens Dome trail screamed in terror as a park visitor stared into the jaws of a 300 pound bear. Just a few minutes before photographer Mark Poff took these pictures, a crowd of visitors had put the bear on the move in the nearby parking lot by getting dangerously up close and personal with a Smokies bear. This man is less than 15 feet from a call to 911. Getting as close as 15 feet away from a powerful 300 pound black bear like I don't know why people try to run from an animal that can run 35 miles per hour. Folks, Usain Bolt back in his prime could only run 27 miles an hour. So, uh, these things are fast. You know what? I don't know if he'd have gone the other way or not until I got off that trail. Because it wasn't until the park ranger said, get off the trail and move up, did that bear move, move away. So, I guess he's... Maybe he's as afraid of us as we are of him, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope so. Tell me about it. <laughs> a man in Siberia nearly met his maker when a polar bear gets too close. This is a video from a few years back that takes place in Glacier National Park in Montana. So evidently this guy comes near a grizzly bear who sees him stops to survey the scene and continues toward him hell to the gnaw i would be out of there my question is does the bear see humans so often that it's not scared of humans was it going to attack this man had he not retreated what do y'all think Look, my first thought was that I'll just attribute this to perhaps this is a young bear uh, that doesn't understand what it is and what's chasing it. Because this dog would have most certainly been a meal for this bear if it were older and more experienced. Then again, when I watched it more closely, at the beginning of the video, you can see that there are several dogs there with this dog being in the forefront. So maybe that's the deal. Yeah, still a few bears around. Another close grizzly encounter, and these people are way more relaxed than they should be. Luckily, this bear is pretty laid back but you have to wonder if this was worth the risk. You see the cows running? Yeah. He's on the move too. Here's a video of a grizzly. Looks like a pretty young one at that. The bear appears to be looking at some cows hoping to make a nice steak dinner out of one of them. 
The bear realized it was probably trying to bite off more than it could chew, so to speak, and decided it was going to leave them alone and try something else. There is nothing like a fight between three 1,000 pound bears, right? There are other ones here at the Romanian Zoo, but they just laying back in the cut in observation mode. It's always crazy to me how huge animals like this, they just fight and fight, and then they go about their business like nothing just happened. Like the strongest man in the world couldn't even survive five seconds in an all out temper tantrum with one of these things. It's just incredible. Hey! Hi. Not sure exactly what kind of bears these are. My guess is that these are sun bears, but I could be wrong. Sun bears, by the way, are the smallest bear, but actually one of the most aggressive. These bears know that there is food in this vehicle, and they are trying their darndest to get some. Oh. Two enormous grizzlies run by onlookers like they're not even present. Boy, I agree. A tourist had a close encounter with a mama bear and her cubs on a trip to Anakista. We showed you this video yesterday posted to TikTok. Photojournalist Brian Holt spoke to Anakista today, who says these bears are frequent visitors. This happens at Anakista, which is an amusement park in Tennessee. Is there any scenario where you can imagine coming down this roller coaster and seeing this in your path? Hail to the gnaw. I would encourage if you were to encounter a bear while you were here at Anakista to of course maintain that 150 foot distance that the park recommends and notify one of our staff. Anna's not the only bear here on the property. We do see uh, several families. One is a, a bear with three cubs that our staff has lovingly called Goldilocks because of the three bears and another bear called Scrappy. Uh, and you know, I guess our bears just enjoy our wide open spaces and our fresh mountain air just like our guests here at Anakista do. This bear comes to a very nice home that must be so spacious that it took quite a while for the two tiny guard dogs to come to the rescue. This bear has to be at least 800 pounds, I bet. It's huge. Being this close to mama and her cubs seems, uh, risky to say the least. Awesome. Awesome. That's about the coolest thing that'll ever happen to you on a bear trip. <laughs> yeah, that was Doesn't close. Get any better than that. <laughs> oh, goodness. I hope everybody got a lot of shots. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Betty, how was that? That close encounter in Colorado where a woman pulled into her garage came face to face with a black bear. There it is. A 400 pound black bear was too comfortable after wandering into a family's garage looking for food. Bruh, 400 pounds. Like, I would not get out the car. No way, no how. 
Bear, get out of my garage. Backstrom had just pulled into her Colorado garage Tuesday when this 400 pound black bear followed her inside. At one point, it even climbs up on her car and starts sniffing around. Shoot, bear, shoot. I quickly hop back in my car. Keys are in there. I roll up the window as fast as I can. The mom tries to scare it off. She makes some noise, even tries to nudge it out by backing up the car. The bear barely even notices, as you can see in her car's rear view camera. So it's noted that this bear has likely been fed by humans and had other interactions with people, which is likely not a good thing. When a bear showed up in one man's backyard, there was no horsing around. Only on 7, Action 7 News anchor Tanya Mendez went to Durango, where a pair of horses took on a bear and won. As I thought, that looks like an awful big dog. <laughs> and then when I looked again and got the binoculars, I was like, wow, wait a minute. Wait a minute is right. A closer look, and this is what Jack Llewellyn saw. I mean, I'm sitting there watching the, the bear running for his dear life. A black bear in his Durango backyard and a few crazy horses taking a stand. So I woke up my wife and said, you won't believe this. Come check this out. The horses stood tough on their turf. Like, okay, let's let him know. Llewellyn's wife started snapping pictures as the horses gave chase, hunting the bear through the pasture, along the fence line, and the bear tried to hide from the horses. Wow, talk about potential prey becoming the predator. These horses wanted all the smoke when they saw a bear, and they were ready to literally kick its butt. Turf. Okay, let's let him know. Llewellyn's wife started snapping pictures as the horses gave chase, hunting the bear through the pasture, along the fence line, and the bear tried to hide from the horses. He was in full sprint running along, and then the horses um, would stop for a little bit. He would stop and rest, and then they would take off. He's a giant. Imagine finding a creature like this taking a nap under your house. This guy's huge. The 1,000 pound bear clearly wants to be left alone. So how do you get a bear to take a hike? Make a lot of noise. Bye bye bear. Surveillance videos show the crazy confrontations between bears and people inside this Kings Beach gas station convenience store over the past three weeks. This one, dated August 30th, shows a bear lying on the floor eating candy and crackers. This video shows a bear inside the store August 12th, followed by a customer swatting the bear's backside. And this video from August 29th shows an employee trying to prevent a bear from entering the store until the bear makes a quick move forward, lunging at the employee who quickly backs away. Their phone's in another room. Hey Sherman called 911 through his smartwatch, while Bobby Harden barricaded the door between the kitchen and TV room. We've never been more scared in our lives. You can see the bear make its way towards them, and then you can hear it. The bear was shaking the door, and we had to hold it shut. Then from the most frightening moment of their lives to the most relieving. I saw a flashlight in the driveway, and this was an amazing moment. Placer County Sheriff Deputy Allison Frero kicks the door in. There we go. The bear leaves the house but lingers on the driveway. What was supposed to be a quiet weekend in the mountains turned into anything but. Michelle? He's right at the bottom of the steps. Go to your room. I'm not kidding. I just, he's right there. Michelle Eberhardt came to Gatlinburg to enjoy a nice weekend with her husband and some friends, but while she and a friend were in their cabin alone, they received an unexpected visitor. She just started pointing, and I was like, what? And so I turned and looked, and there's a bear just, like, putting his full force on the door, and then the door opened. Did you get a good picture of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the, the door shut. You just saw me, Michelle. I called the owner and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. What do you do? There's a bear in here. And he said, what do you mean there's a bear in here? I was like, there's a bear in the cabin. I don't know what to do. And if one bear inside the house wasn't scary enough, there were three more waiting on the porch.
it was just almost surreal. It was just like a fight or flight. Like I, we just have to re I just have to remove us from this situation. Thanks for watching. I'm Curtis. See you next time. Like a fish on land